Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Breezy Bree bringing you season 2 of the UPA draft video. So at the end of season 1, I almost did not join back for season 2 because of the streak that we had. It was horrible. I just wasn't into it. But I did talk to a few of my friends within the UPA and they really talked to me about rejoining. And so here we are for season 2. I'm kind of excited with my drafts that I picked, and I really want to talk about them. I know you guys seen the video of the draft, um, and every single draft that I did, but I do want to go ahead and review why I picked my uh, picks, and also talk about, you know, what, what what we're headed for. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, for Tier 1, we picked up Lando T. Um, Lando is amazing. I love Lando. Lando. If I would have known um, within season one, I probably would have picked this up instead of my tier one pick first. But yeah, Lando is amazing. Rock polish. Uh, you can throw that on it. Its stats are amazing. Its attack is amazing. Um, you can also make it a little bit defensive. It gets Earthquake, Stone Edge, Rock Slide. Everything you need for a, a ground rock type. And it also gets some flying types, which is nice. Um, and it, it definitely, you know, um, with Intimidate um, as a disability, it's amazing, amazing, amazing. So Lando was our first pick um, for Tier 1. Our second pick was Suicune, which was actually my first pick. Um, because everybody was gunning for Suicune for some reason again this season. And I just knew my first pick had to. I was like the fourth to draft, and I was like, Suicune is coming back to the team. So, uh, instead of my Lodic this year, we're picking up Suicune. So, Suicune has its defense stats, its special defense stats, and it's just amazing. It gets, you know, its normal set, which is, you know, usually Sleep Talk Rest, Scold, and Ice Beam. Um, but I've been trying to run it a little bit differently. We also learned that it gets Air Slash as its uh, special... Uh, event special or whatever. So, yeah, Suicune is amazing. I like using Suicune anyway, so why not pick it up? Our next pick was Rotom Heat. Now, Rotom Heat uh, is returning to the team. It's just amazing mon all around. It's defense, special attack, and special defense through the roof. As a UU Pokemon, um, with the ability Levitate is just nice all around. Um, you get will o -Wisp, Overheat, Pain Split, Trick, everything you can think of for Rotom Heat. So, yeah picked up Rotom Heat. Why not? One of the Rotoms had to come to the team, so I definitely went with Rotom Heat instead of Rotom Wash. Uh, so, our next pick was Nido King. Now, uh, I watched last season as our good friend Logical Rhythm ran house with his Nido Queen, um, and of course I knew he was going to pick up Nido Queen. I mean, that was just, you know, second nature. Um, but I picked up Nido King because he's just as good as Nido Queen. Um, Poison Point, Sheer Force, Rivalry, uh, you can put any of those on it, it's good abilities to have. Uh, it attacks through the roof, but you can also run it specially with Ice Beam, um, gets Thrunt Flamethrower, of course, um, you can put any item really on this guy, uh, Choice Band, Choice Scarf, Choice Specs, uh, Life Orb, so I went ahead and scooped up Nido King, so I was super excited to have Nido King come to the team. Our next pick was kind of out of the blue, but I kind of remembered somebody running house with this team, um, having Ambipom there. Uh, so our good friend Shadow Link had him last year, but he's coming back to our t or he's coming to our team this year. Um, it's Ambipom. So Ambipom, I needed some speed too for this team, and with Fake Out, um, Low Kick, Acrobatics, it just runs house. So Ambipom was a good pick for me, and I just needed it to come to the team. Next we have Tangela. Now Tangela, if you ever watched Game Boy Luke, uh, he used to run Tangela all the time. Uh, it can eat some hits, not even kidding, with an Eviolite. It also can um, be attack, it can be special attack. Um, you can also throw a Leaf Blade on it. Um, I believe that it's really weak to um, mostly everything, uh, fire, ice, or fighting, or flying. Um, which in this type of format, you don't really see a lot that can like really hinder Tangela as long as you play it in the right, right way. So Tangela was on my tier five pick. So yeah. Next we have Mega Gardevoir. Now I love Mega Gardevoir. I don't care what anybody says. I bet I believe in all heart 
that Mega Gardevoir is the best Mega to hit um, Pokemon. It's just, I love it. I love it. I love Mega Gardevoir. You guys know. I run it all the time on this um, channel. But it's special attacks through the roof. It's special defense through the roof. It has base 100 uh, speed. You can really do anything with a Mega Gardevoir. You can have it as a wall. You can have it as, you know, a special attacker. You can just have it for, you know, really setting up and just sweeping anybody. So it was my franchise pick. A lot of people were gunning for it, but because nobody made the rule that we couldn't franchise anything that wasn't Mega or anything, I went ahead and franchised it. Why not? Not letting anyone pitch Mega Gardevoir this season. Our next one was Jirachi. Now, Jirachi is a fave of mine um it was my first free pick and i was like why not it has base 100 stats you can really run it any way you want um it gets almost every move in the game i think and we needed a steel type so jirachi was just the right pick for me during this time so yeah jirachi uh next i picked up yuxi yuxi was another free pick uh but i've run i've seen people run yuxi a little bit crazy so I was like why not let's run it um it's really just a wall to like kind of hinder people uh it gets stealth rocks u-turn um then I don't have to really run it on Lando if I don't want it or Needle King um it's got u-turn which is great for you know setting up the stealth rocks u-turning out going to somebody else take a hit um the only bad thing is that we have three phys uh psychic Pokemon but I think with the team that we have it kind of helps having Yuxi on the team. Um, our next pick was returning to the damn Port Milotix is Dusclops. Uh, slap an Eevee light on it, you got a pretty good nice wall. Um, it, you can really run a lot on it, you can calm mind it, you can Toxic, Willow, um, Dark Pulse, anything you really want on Dusclops. You can substitute, which I love running substitute on um, Dusclops. But yeah, so Dusclops is returning to the team. Exciting. And our last pick was a little bit on the end of everything. It was my last pick. Uh, I knew nobody was really going to pick it up. And I was like, why not? Why not pick the spawn up? I love running it anyways on the team. So it is Moltres. Moltres, they sleep on it hardcore. So I went ahead and picked it up. It gets Roost. It gets, you know, him Power Grass, Willow. You can run Hurricane and Fire Blast. Um, the only thing that really hurts it is Stealth Rocks, and that kind of sucks. But there's always a way around Stealth, stealth Rocks, so I'm not too worried about Moltres here. But yeah, so that concludes our draft pick. I'm really, really excited to run this team and see how well it does. And I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, the, the analysis. I know it was a little fast, but, you know, you guys get to see it on the other end when I fight so I don't see the point in going through all of it again um make sure you guys hit that like button and if you're not already subscribe because you do not want to miss the season of the UPA we're all coming back with a vengeance at each other and it's amazing so um if you guys you know have any questions or you guys have any sets you want to see let me know and I will catch you guys in the first ever season two episode one of the UPA tomorrow bye guys I'm